Welcome to part 5 of this tutorial, getting an authentication token from Twitch. We need the authentication token because without it, we cannot ask Twitch to do anything. This is a security from Twitch and it's a pretty good one. For so the first thing we are going to do is opening the Twitch developer documentation at getting an access token. Twitch provides us with three different flows that function with four different uh, use cases. But we do see that there's one, use this flow if your app does not use a server. And we don't have a server, we are a single player game. Navigate the user to this URL. So if the user is sent to this URL with the right parameters, it's going to send them to a web page that asks your game wants access to creating polls, managing the chat, etc, etc. And the user can press yes. Since we are Unity, we are going to directly use the application.openURL. This function immediately opens the right URL in the user's web browser. So we need to open this URL with some parameters. Client idea. This is the string that you got when you created your application in chapter 4. Redirect URI, and this is the part that took me two days to get and understand. I want to thank deeply the Hellcat on Twitch, Twitter, and GitHub for providing me with the solution. The access token is what we want to get, and it's going to be sent to a URI. We have a problem. It's that we don't have a server, so we don't have a URI to send it to. We'll get to this problem after finally reading, and scope... Basically, it's the list of everything your application wants uh, rights to do. If when you called this, you didn't include, I want to be able to create a poll. If you ask the API to create a poll, you are going to get rejected. So you need to make sure that this will be correctly filled. Let's go on the Alcats uh, GitHub. I modified this code a little bit, but yeah, this is the place where I took most of the code which I changed a, li a little bit. All credit goes to him, really. The idea is extremely simple. When we create an OAuth getter, we provide the client idea, which you have when you created the application, the client secret, which uh, you have when you created the application, the scopes, do you remember? It's what we found here, a list of scopes. We'll understand the scopes a little bit later. and. They added a callback when the token has been received. So how are we going to receive the token? The OAuth getter will work on its own. If you are not curious about how this is going to function, you can move on to the next chapter. But if you are curious, let's see what the Hellcat very cleverly made. So first, we save all the parameters uh, in the creation and we initiate the authentication. And basically what this is going to do is going to create the URL with id.twitch.tv slash oauth2 slash authorize, interrogation point, client ID, our client ID, redirect URI, localhost 8080. Do you remember? This is the URL that we added when we created the application. Response type code and scope is the list of scopes we have created. The states. It's been generated by the Hellcat's code. And before we open this generated URL, we create a web server on the user's computer. So this is not going to be compatible on iOS and WebGL. We create a newly HTTP listener, since this is an HTTP website, quote unquote, that we created. When we get an HTTP request, so when the website is being redirected to localhost, this gets called. This will do the checks of if there is a code in the answer, get token from code, we receive the code, it sends it back to Twitch with all the correct information and the new code, and Twitch is going to answer back to us the response. Once all this process is done, the callback we have asked for is called with the access token that we so preciously need. Once this is all done, we respond with an HTML uh, page. Personally, I made the HTML page just be a JavaScript script that closes the page. 
and we close the listener. This is important. We don't want the web server to keep running. We got what we needed and we stop. I made this chapter uh, particularly short since it's basically using uh, the works of someone else. Uh, this someone else again being uh, the Hellcat. The code is going to be included in the client system that I will provide on GitHub. So you don't have to worry too much if you didn't understand. Like I said earlier, if you don't understand this chapter or if you are not interested in how the authentication token is gotten, that's all right. We will be getting the token and that's all that matters. One important thing to know is that yesterday I contacted the Twitch team to make sure that all of this was perfectly legal and uh, compatible with the TOS. This is fine to do.